Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video. It's a video that I haven't done before, but you guys really seem to like these sit down chatty videos where I talk about luxury fashion without any judgment, hopefully. And hopefully I can inspire you guys with my previous regrets and experiences and we can have a conversation about it. Before I hop into the video, I quickly wanted to ask you guys to make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to make sure you're notified every time I upload a video because I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys saying you haven't been seeing any of my videos recently and that's because of the YouTube algorithm. So if you want to make sure that you see my videos when I do post them, make sure you hit the notification bell. It's right next to the subscribe button. And with that, let's hop right in and let's talk about the awful designer items I'm so glad I didn't buy. All right, so before I actually talk about the things that I am so glad I didn't buy, I quickly want to make a disclaimer if you have one of these items or you're still in love with these items, I'm not judging you. This is just my personal opinion. And of course, I'm going to elaborate with each item that I'm going to share with you guys why I'm glad that I didn't end up buying it. So hopefully you'll find this very informative. And of course, I don't want to offend anybody. Everyone has their own unique taste. These are just the items that I'm personally happy I didn't buy. So. Let's just talk about the first thing. The Gucci Marmont belt. I cannot tell you how obsessed I was with this belt. Probably just as much as the 99% of you watching in this video. It was like the belt of the last couple of years or so, and it was impossible to track down in my particular size. I tried on several occasions to actually get this belt from the Gucci store or from the Gucci website and failed miserably. And I took that as a sign that myself and the Gucci Marmon belt were just not meant to be. And now that I look back on it, I'm actually really, really happy. I didn't end up buying that Gucci Marmont belt as much as I still think it's a really beautiful belt. I really hate the fact that pretty much everyone and their mother owns the freaking Gucci Marmont belt. I'm sorry to say, but I feel like it's been overdone. It's literally been plastered everywhere. Everyone's been wearing it and it's no longer a unique uh, piece that I covet. So that honestly is the main reason I'm happy that I didn't purchase this designer item. It might be amazing quality. If you own this belt, you might love it and I'm so happy for you. But for me personally, I like to wear things that are unique and that a lot of people don't have. And the Gucci Marmon belt just became one of those items for me that I'm so glad it didn't work out. The next designer item I am so glad I didn't buy and it's another Gucci item. Coincidentally, no hate on Gucci. I actually really, really like Gucci, but I'm really happy that I didn't buy the Gucci slides. Again, the Gucci slides are an item that had been hot for a really, really long time. And when they first came out, I despised them. I literally thought they looked like grandpa slippers. In fact, my grandpa owns a pair of brown leather slippers that I kid you not look exactly like the Gucci slides, except my grandfather probably got his from the dollar store. And every time I saw someone wearing the Gucci slides, that is all I could think about. Then I saw them coming into the blogger sphere and I just, you know, kind of warmed up to them. And I debated for a little while whether or not I should get them. Thankfully, I didn't because I had the opportunity to try them on in my size, which again, they were always, always sold out. And I thought, geez, they have one pair left in my size, that always happens by the way. Anyone else notice that? So I thought, great, it's meant to be. And then I put them on and they looked horrendous. If you're like me and you have legs that are anything other than skinny chicken legs, the Gucci slides are probably not gonna work for you. So I have more muscular legs. I don't have little dainty tiny calves and dainty tiny ankles. So on me, the Gucci slides tend to shorten my legs and make them look stockier because of the super high vamp. So that's what really, really turned me off from them. They're also a very narrow slide, so they they make your foot look a lot narrower and if your legs are already muscular like mine it can make your legs look 
a little bit more chunky than they actually are. So for those reasons, I'm super happy that I didn't end up buying the Gucci slides when I really, really wanted to. I'm not speaking for the quality or the comfort. In fact, when I tried them on and walked around with them in the store, they were so freaking comfortable. And even though they looked awful on me, I was still debating whether or not I should get them just because of the comfort alone. So if you do own the Gucci slides and you love them and you think they look fabulous on you, good on you but they just were not for me the next awful designer item i'm not gonna say i didn't buy because admittedly i did buy it and i wore it for a few months and then i ended up returning it because i hated it and the designer item i'm talking about is the valentino rock stud bag this is a gorgeous gorgeous bag it is made out of this beautiful soft leather it is studded all over it just glitters listens in the sun, it elevates every single outfit, but the construction of the bag is just awful. And for the price, honestly, it is totally not worth it in my opinion. I purchased, I believe it was the medium size one and it was a very, very soft leather. When I first got it, the first couple of weeks, it was perfect. But then once I started using it more and more, the leather started to lose shape and it started to dip in the top center of the bag and it just completely made the bag look like a different bag luckily i did purchase it from the valentino store inside of my local nordstrom and nordstrom has literally the best return policy ever so i was able to return it even after the five or six months that i used it of course i return it in perfect condition other than the leather just losing its shape at the top it had no marks on it no creases no nothing i just felt like for the money that i paid for the bag the construction should have been a lot better it also had like no organizational compartments to it, it had no back pocket it had no internal separation or pocket aside from i think one inner pocket on the inside of the bag where you would typically store your lipsticks and yeah i just thought it was extremely overpriced for what it was and i would never purchase another one another awful designer item i am so glad i didn't buy are those hermes sandals that i see everywhere on instagram i used to love them i used to think that the tan ones and the white ones looked beautiful that they classed up any outfit they were super laid back and easy breezy and then i tried them on and it was kind of like the same situation that I had with the Gucci slides. They just did not flatter me whatsoever. And I just felt like there was no support in them. I felt like my toes were just like doing their own thing. And it just was not a flattering look. And for the money, you want to make sure that your feet look like a freaking supermodel foot. So that is why I'm so glad I didn't buy them. And I'm so glad I tried them on before making that decision. Decision. They're also not the most comfortable shoes because the leather is more on the stiff side So I heard that they can also give you blisters Which is also another bummer considering they are so freaking expensive So definitely try them on first if you can if they do have them available and make that decision for yourself The next awful designer item. I'm so glad I didn't buy was the Celine initial necklace I used to love this necklace. I still love the look of this necklace, but I feel like it's another item that everybody has. The necklace has this beautiful bamboo shaped oversized initial hanging off of it. I think it looks so cool and so effortless. I was trying to hunt down this necklace for such a long time and I couldn't get my hands on it because it was sold out. It was a limited edition uh, piece that came out with Celine and they were discontinuing it. Unfortunately, or fortunately for me now, I wasn't able to get my hands on it. And now that I see it on all of these people, it kind of turned me off a little bit. And also if you go on Etsy and type in Bam Bamboo initial necklace you're gonna find so many dupes for a fraction of the cost so that kind of makes me feel like it's kind of a ripoff because it's something that can easily be replicated or you can get a very very similar look to the celine initial necklace for a lot less so the celine necklace is something that i personally do not think is worth the money in my opinion and if i did change my mind and wanted the look i can always go on etsy and just get a dupe all right, you guys, so those were my awful designer items. I'm so glad I didn't buy. I really hope that you found this video informative and helpful in some way. Maybe it's gonna help you reconsider some of 
the things that you may be lusting after. I have made so many luxury purchases and regrets in the past that now I feel like I am so much pickier and so much more analytical about the things that I buy and how I buy them. I'm always very, very careful because I don't want to waste my money. I want to make sure that whatever I am buying, I love and I'm using and I get enjoyment out of it. So that's why I find videos like this are super helpful because someone else can kind of make the mistakes for you or do the research for you and just share that with you guys so it can help you guys make more educated decisions. So that's all I have for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you'd like to see more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to make sure you're notified every time I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next one.